Hi guys, I'm Silver and welcome to Our Own Light. This is an indie horror game that I found on Game Jolt because I miss playing random indie horror games because I haven't in a while and uh, I picked this one because it actually stated in the description that it doesn't like just the generic jump scare type uh, horror so I'm hoping this one will actually be freaky without just trying to startle me like usual. But that's all I know. I don't know anything about the story at all. I don't think it said anything. What's the incident? <laughs> oh god. Oh, am I supposed to move? I'm moving. I'm in control. Well, this is... This is... Not good. How do I, uh... Am I a baby? <laughs> I'm a freaking baby right now. And the world is melting. I'm trying. How do... I can't... Did that do something? Did I just lose already? Oh. Friday, August 25th, 2017. Fuente Castilla's building. Did I die? <laughs> I'm confused <laughs> already. So was that Fuente Castilla's building? Or are we going somewhere else now? <sighs> so many questions. Hmm. Objective, find a comfortable place to work at. Okay. This is uh, not what I was expecting at all. This looks comfy. Maybe it means over here though. Apparently not. Apparently it's not comfy enough. Ah! There we go. The hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, is that a shadow? Or is it just darkness? You were brought back to your home after getting dizzy and pale until you fainted during work. Hmm. This game is really slow to load. I still haven't really gotten to play much. I walked over to a couch. That has been the extent of the gameplay so far. Is it frozen? No! There. Well, that was annoying. 11.30 p.m. Hey, honey. I was just calling to see how much you had progressed after what happened in your office last night. I know you have been very busy lately, so I just wanted to let you know that the rehearsal that our daughter has been practicing and anticipates so much is tonight. But I know you will be able to come, so... Don't worry. She knows too. She understands. There was something else I... Oh yeah, by the way, the electricity company failed on us again. The light switches from upstairs and downstairs stopped working. But somehow, the lights from our bedroom are still working. So if you're hungry and want to go to the kitchen or something, I'll let you a flashlight on our closet so you can use that. <laughs> Just call. If I don't answer, it means our daughter's show has started, but I will get to you eventually, so love you. Love you. Bye bye. Aw, my loving family. Too bad I'm about to get murdered. Alright. There's the 
phone. There's nothing in the drawers. I just heard a door open. Alright. And another- are, are, is, is the ghost just opening doors and closing them to make suspicious creaking noises? say she- ooh, creepy. Didn't she say she left it on the nightstand? Where's the nightstand? Wouldn't these be the nightstands? But there is no flashlight. Did I just make that up? Did she even actually say that? I don't know. Okay. Uh, you said the lights in the bedroom were still working, but... Oh, there. Alright. Oh, the lag. Okay. Do I have batteries to worry about, or... Hello? What is that noise? Oh. There's just no shower in here, I guess. Oh, there's a tub. Alright, this is just a very weird layout for a bathroom. Anyways. Um... This mouse sensitivity is not my favorite. recognize this house, by the way. This is a house that's sold on an asset store. Um, let's see. It feels like it's coming from like the middle room over there. Is there any way? That was scary pause menu music, jeez. I just really wish I could change the mouse sensitivity. This is so slow and ugh. What am I gonna do if I need to swing around abruptly to confront the monster that I'm sure is lurking behind me at all times? Apparently I'm doomed. Alright. Guess I'll just go downstairs, damn it. This game is really laggy. So, it's not coming from right in here. I guess it's coming from the room where there is... the door is stuck. That's annoying. Because it's a really annoying noise! <laughs> oh, maybe it's coming from down here. Don't freeze as I'm trying to look around! What the hell? I don't care what the weatherman said when the weatherman said this man. You never hear me complain. Stop it. I don't care how the weather vane points when the weather vane points to me. I can't turn it off. It's gotta be sunny to me when your eyes look into mine. Seriously, stop it. I don't want to be able to hear if there's nonsense going on. Where'd you get those eyes? Welcome back to the late that transmission with Gary Huntsman. We received some news of a girl being sighted alone at the street near the new building. This is where the old building is still clash. And some rumors say that there was a girl that was trapped inside it while it happened. Reports say that when they wanted to talk with her, she randomly disappeared. Nobody can explain this scene or cure, but so far, we believe that it was just wind reflected by the moon. That's supposed to be significant? I didn't catch where it happened, but... Is that supposed to be my daughter or something? That noise is going to drive me insane. I hate 
appreciate this very much. Did I just hear something? Why is this fire creating like no light? Why did they light a fire and then leave the house? Guess I'm going back upstairs. What? You left me alone? When? What did I do? <laughs> I can't even climb up these stupid stairs. I'm so slow. What is wrong with me? Go. This is different. <laughs> oh god. Where is that coming from? I hate this mouse sensitivity so much. Is it coming from here? Damn it. Downstairs, maybe? I don't know. Now, you will die. Smiley face. <laughs> That's hilarious. Here. Whoops. Oh. Oh. What's up? Just looking for... What the hell was that? Oh, the door is gone. Good. <laughs> you said no jump scares, no take backs. This is the, uh, stuffed rabbit that was- what? <laughs> that was in the hallway before. This is so strange. <laughs> okay. That was it! <laughs> okay. I mean, that was kind of creepy, but weird. It just, my favorite part, I think, was the, uh, now you will die smiley face. <laughs> it wasn't even, like, a drawn smiley face. It was literally just the font. Uh, I mean, I appreciate that they didn't use jump scares. I mean, they did do one, but it's fine. And there was, like, a creepy atmosphere to it. Like, I kept expecting there to be something once I turned around, but I would personally like to be able to feel like I have a bit more control because the look sensitivity was so slow and the movement was so slow it's like I can't I don't know I just feel like slow <laughs> like I'm moving through molasses or something and I want to be able to be more fluid in uh, horror games especially so yeah that was my main complaint because it made it just frustrating all the way through but I mean good effort I would definitely play a second chapter if they come out with it because I don't know, I still don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> like, what was the story? I, I guess my daughter died or I left her alone or something, I don't get it. Anyway, that was Our Own Light, Chapter 1. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.